All right, hey guys, so I have some awesome Todd Pool videos that I've just finished editing, and that's what you are going to be watching. So make sure to watch the whole video. There's some awesome stuff like cancer crabs and pricklebacks, but you will learn what they are in this video. So we didn't find an octopus, but we did find a ton of other awesome stuff. So watch on. All right, we're going to be searching for tide pools and seeing anything that we can find. So let's do it. All right, so I just caught this uh, purple crab and uh, uh, he's got me really good. Um, he had me with both pinchers before, but I'm trying to get coax him off by putting him on these weeds. Maybe try putting and him out in, in the water again. There we go, we got him, we got him off, we got him off. All right, fill up, fill up that tank, fill up that tank with water. Yes. Okay. All right, we're about to put, cut, put this crab. Yeah, a little bit more, okay, a little bit more. Now, okay. get him with my fingers again. Whoo, that is painful. Oh my gosh. There's a fish in there too, so watch out. Woo, first catch in the tide pools is this little purple crab. That is apparently painful. It's apparently, look at these pinchers on this guy. All right, I'm gonna grab him from the behind. Yeah. Not sure why you didn't do that before. Oh. I wanted to see how bad it hurt. <laughs> Apparently a lot. Come on, get off of there. Get off. Okay, look at these pinchers on this crab. It hurts badly. Right, we're gonna put them in here and see what else we catch. You see those bubbles pop up? Look at like this that. humongous yeah. starfish. And, uh, I think Look at they, my hand uh, compared to it. Wanted to see Huge. how early they can get you out of bed and uh, you wait. Yeah, there's uh, these guys crabs. Sticky. Okay, so we caught a variety of crabs. We caught these weird spindly things that I think might be some kind of species of decorator because they cover themselves up and stuff. Or tablecloths. We got uh, these little orange hermit crabs. We got a few of those. We got. Uh, little crab who actually attached himself to one of these spindly looking things and uh got um whatever this is i have no idea what kind of if even this is a crab but it's got claws and weird stuff so don't really know what that is and we cut these big old purple crabs this is my biggest and like these claws are just like killer so yeah all right so we also caught um two sea urchins this is what i believe to be a green leaf sea urchin and this one i don't want to pick up because i don't know exactly what it is but we caught it it's stuck see look at these feelers on its uh sides and stuff it's like totally cool and they stick really hard so pretty cool don't know what that is but i believe that's a green leaf look at all these anemones on these tide pools they are just huge and magnificent. Some of them are hanging out on these. Some of them are nice and curled up. I don't I don't even know if these kinds are poisonous, but hey, they are. Let me know in the comments, please. And yeah, I might be able to get an underwater view later on. I'll see if what it is. The tide might be all the way up though. Dude, that's a bunch. That's old uh, crab top of a crab head and this is a jellyfish which must have gotten stuck during low tide up on these rocks and uh yeah so this one this kind will not sting you you can pick these up they're totally fine but they're kind of slimy and they kind of feel gross to hold so it's pretty cool Alright, here we have a prickleback, a small eel-like fish, 
that is trying very hard to evade me right now. And I must say he's doing his job very well because I cannot get a... There we go. Come on. Alright, so this is what they look like. Like I said, eel. Kind of like an eel. So I'm going to get him and do a, ah, a better tide pool. But you can just find them flipping rocks in places like like this where it's all muddy. And uh, it's pretty easy to find them when it's like this. Hold on, i got to get a good grip. Right, let's just put them in this pool right here. Watch him. He'll like, immediately dart right into that kelp, which is Okay, this is a gorgeous, and I mean like absolutely positively gorgeous prickleback right here. Like, look at this. Ow, they got little spines, but look at how pretty that is. You can't even barely see the beauty of it in, on the camera, but look at the orange, the spots all around its face. We caught a ton of them. On, this is like almost all of them under this rock here. There's, uh, we didn't even get all of them. And, they're called pricklebacks because of those little spines on them. And they're super slimy little fish, actually. And just look at how beautiful and gorgeous that prickleback is. And that's a big one, too. I just am in awe by that beauty. That is insanely gorgeous. Alright, there is just a rock here loaded with big pricklebacks. These big ones, you can actually literally feel the prickles on these huge ones. I'm gonna actually get these in a tank, I think. 